Yay, another Spider-Man. Hooray, let's go. Am I wrong in saying that it would be a lot better not to get all these suits in the same wave? Maybe do two No Way Home waves, one before the movie comes out, one after the movie comes out, maybe two or three months later, and then drop the rest of the suits. I just don't like when you take up a whole wave with one character. I know technically one of them wasn't an official part of the wave, it wasn't part of the bath, but it was part of the wave. It was just a Walmart exclusive. But if you're collecting them all, like I am, it's just a lot of Spidey in a short time. All right, but I'm gonna stop complaining. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Spider-Man relies on his black and gold suit and abilities to defend against threats. Let's get on with it. We've got a golden insert. I'm not sure why I'm using my old school Super Friends announcer voice, but it seems to fit. Alright, so here he is all caged up. Not much in the accessory department. He's got two whip hands, looks like, but the fingers are kind of bent, so that's a little bit different. Golden black booty shot. Alright, so we've got the bath piece, armadillo's leg. I'm loving those toenails there. They kind of like mine. So, whip! He ships with the Spidey motorcycle riding hands for some reason. What's he grabbing at? Meow, meow. He has real butterfly joints. It is worth having a third one in the wave. He's a real boy. Okay, forget everything I said about having too many Spideys in the wave. I'm happy now. He has butterfly joints and look at his cute little butt. Let's go ahead and bask in his full grown up butterfly joint glory. I like the overall look. I wish the gold lines were more pronounced. They look a little bit brighter on camera because of my spotlight. They're not as bright as they appear. Don't get me wrong, they're not super dull, but when you take them out of the spotlight, it's not as shiny. So I wish they had done that. So I wish they had made those a little bit deeper. I think I can get an artist pen and clean those up. Got a little plastic fleck there. Going down, paint job looks good. I wish they had painted over the peg there. I don't like when it's broken up. Don't understand why the designers, and I'm not talking about Hasbro, I'm talking about the designers of this suit, thought throwing that red in there works. Why would you have a whole black and gold suit from head to toe, and then just randomly throw in the red there? It just doesn't look good. A lot of plastic flex on this one. There's a second piece, see that little plastic hanging up there? There's a piece on the shoulder, I think I just, no, it's still there. Hmm. There's some on his arms. Yeah, they kind of fudge this one at the factory. But it's not really noticeable, and you can just kind of rub it off. So looking down at his legs, I didn't notice this before. There's like opaque, shiny, black, well I shouldn't say opaque, but it's really hard to see, like black circuitry going down his legs. Or his thighs, I should say. It stops above the knees. I don't see it on his arms. That's pretty cool. I would like to see that all over the suit. Those white eyes really pop off, just like they do when he's in his black symbiote suit, or I should say his black suit. Little tilt left, little tilt right, up to Daisy. Down, down, down. Little 360, nice and smooth, almost loosey goosey. Arms get up, yay high. That red ruined everything. Hello butterfly joints. I apologize for saying the red doesn't look good. You make everything okay. Yes. 
Look at that hug range. Double jointed elbows in the house. Pulse of blast at the wrist. Hold my hand. Kiss the web shooter. Full 360 at the arm. Full 360 at the bicep. Full 360 at the wrist. Did I mention that he has butterfly joints? Abdominal crunch in full effect. Limbo ready. The hips don't lie. Get full 360 at the waist. Click, 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 click. Kick range sick. Gonna have split range sick too. Sick ish. You don't quite get 90 degrees at the bend over, it's like 89 degrees. You can walk it. Three six eight five. Uh, no three six eight the calf. Foot. Yeah, you gotta put three sixty there. Double joint knee giving you all the business. He's definitely a prancer. One heck of a dancer. Moonwalk ready. Come on. Stay in focus. Don't blur. Comes in at about five and a half inches. Here he is next to integrated suit Spidey. Upgraded suit Spidey. And a Marvel Universe Frost Giant. Why? I don't know. And there he is next to miniature me. I did not say mini me. And if you're trying to make the height reference, that is the Luke Cage Netflix two pack that came with um, the Rosario Dawson figure. I forgot her name. Yeah. So now that I have all three together, maybe three Spider Men in one wave is not so bad. <laughs> now that I'm looking at them all again, I like each one. And when they're apart, it's like, oh, we get the same figure over and over again. But when they're together, it's like, yo, they look different and they all look equally as fresh. But of course, my favorite one is the black and gold, not just because of the look, but because of the articulation. He's a winner. All right, let me know what you think. Is this too much Spidey for one wave? Or can we never have too much Spider-Man? Make sure to sound on comments. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me. Hit that like button on your way out. It really helps. Thanks for all the support. Make sure to subscribe and turn notifications that way you know every time I put up a video of another Spider-Man action figure. All right, geeks. Till next time, geek out. Oh, yeah, and check out the reviews to the other two Spider-Mans. We'll link to them at the end of this video.